Hey guys, Corv Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. So today we're rounding up all the news so far this week. And that is mostly the Mute Protocol event. So this was actually teased at the weekend, which is the first time in, I don't know, a very long time that we've had a teaser on a weekend. And I think it's also the first time they've actually teased an event before the actual release of it. So it got teased on Sunday and then it got teased on Monday with an actual trailer, which is really cool. And then it launched, of course, on Tuesday. But today they have cancelled it or effectively shut it down until they can fix an exploit that made operators invisible, which of course was a terrible thing, and people were taking advantage of it as much as they possibly could. So the event is off. Now, the way it's going to work is that it's going to be off for an unknown amount of time, but when it does restart, then everything will get restarted from that point. So we're not going to lose any time in the event. It will still go the same distance. The challenges that are linked to it will still go the same distance as well. So it's all going to end up being effectively the same, but... Who knows when they're going to be able to patch it and fix it because maybe it'll be a hot fix something they can just put out real quick or possibly they may actually have to put out a patch. That could take some time. But yeah, the meet event has been shut down for now and we'll just have to wait till it comes back, which of course sucks. Now, I've been running in the background here some images which are all concept art released by Ubisoft off the event and it's very cool to look through them all. I kind of get more of a cyberpunk kind of feel from these concept arts than I do from the actual in-game stuff but it's great to see how much effort goes into these events and of course it must suck right now for the developers. They must be guided that they've had to switch it off and uh, try and fix it so they can actually get it back up again. But that's pretty much all the news for this roundup today. Although I will point out one thing just in case anyone's missed it and you want to buy some of the cosmetics. So of course you can buy the paid packs but if you go into the store there's actually bundles for the uniforms, headgears and weapon skins. Or not the universal weapon skin unfortunately but you can pick out the actual just single operator stuff if you want and buy it that way instead of buying paid packs. Also let me know if you've bought packs this season, if you've bought... Uh, the actual bundles instead or if you just bought the entire collection let me know kind of how, how many of you guys out there are actually paying money for a lot of this stuff because i'm also curious how much money these events you know must make because i assume they take about three months to make these events and actually get them out and of course the artwork and all that for the uniforms and everything must take quite a considerable amount of time so it must be a you know it must be costly but i feel like they probably make a massive profit every event even though the events are temporary and disappear afterwards and never return but anyway guys let me know in the comments below and i will catch you next time